1996, the Charlton Fire burned in the Waldo Lake Wilderness on Oregon's Willamette National Forest. Under federal wilderness law, there was no preventative forest management, and dead and dying trees were not removed after the fire. The area has continuously reburned, sterilizing the soil and turning this forest into non-forest, while emitting massive amounts of carbon into the atmosphere. What does this designated wilderness area look like today? This is an example of the choices we make on these dynamic landscapes. And what can happen if we choose not to actively manage our forests and reduce the risks of severe wildfire? We can make better choices. We can choose to take action by removing dead and dying trees, removing the fuel for the next big fire. We can choose to turn the burned trees into long-lived wood products that lock up carbon for generations. We can choose to replant burn areas with new trees. And we can choose to have green, healthy forests for future generations. Here, on the same national forest, the Forest Service quickly removed dead trees and replanted new ones after the 1988 Shady Beach fire. Today, it's a thriving green forest. What would you choose?